habían elegido a, a Manari de Argentina, I, uh, I lived uh, many years in Mexico City, eight years, as an exile from the military in the 70s. And then I came to the States, and I've been here for the 20 years, and the last five years, but that was in New York, and then the last five years, uh, we've been living here in uh, San Diego, where I'm going for a doctorate, other than making my art. Um, well, but initially I was, um, I was a painter, sculptor, and slowly I, I slid into video, and now I do video installation mostly. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in uh, sort of mutual relationships and everyday situations and somewhere in the, uh, the end of the 80s, uh, video became a much more natural um, vehicle for something that is uh, everyday-ish. The last um, series that I, that I worked on in these uh, video installations, they center around a, a dress and sort of subjective or imaginative ways of, of traveling from place to place. I, uh, I work with milk, so I, I make these um, projections onto milk. And uh, for instance, the last, in the last piece, I simulate that I appear in the milk of a vase that is placed in the gallery and since it was filmed on milk, my face seemed to be coming out of this milk and I greet the, the public. So uh, and all I say is that I'm, I just arrived in and then the city where I'm, where I'm in. Uh, it has to do a little bit with having left uh, as an exile when I was, when I was young because um, I find that in this mutuality in looking at strangers uh, that you refine a sense of, if not belonging, of engagement. Um, so I've been very uh, attracted to uh, that type of situation. The dialogue, approach, uh, looking into each other's eyes. Milk has that, all liquids in a way, have these uh, continuities, this, um, this way of um, connecting with something bigger. You imagine that, a, uh, that a, a patch of water outside is somewhat connected to the ocean, that, um, that the ocean is one and so on, but milk in particular has this element of uh, intimacy because of the bodily fluids and breastfeeding and so on, but also of this um, cosmic uh, element with the sort of elemental whiteness that seems to be like sort of primer, primer, sort of like basic stuff or basic uh, stardust and so I, I started to work with milk uh, around that notion also something that was very uh, poignant for me is that when I started making the videos of traveling in milk um, I discovered that when you submerge yourself in milk and you open your eyes and it's nice open your eyes if you do it because <laughs> milk is very gentle uh, on the eyes. And so you open your eyes and you expect to be in this sort of whiteness, but no, it's completely dark. It's completely dark. And so that, that's a register that I like also, that milk has all this nurturing and like giving and soothing and blah, blah, but it has a, it has a dark center. It, it has with its cosmic undertones, also this mystery and uh, menace to it. And so it is a way of 
creating something that is traveling in a nutritious, interesting medium rather than on the, on the roads and dealing with people who check your passport.